afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Redberry Rio here, and welcome back to another video. Now, in one of my previous videos, I talked about the different components of a sewing machine and how the different components work, but I didn't actually use that sewing machine. And the reason why is because in this video, we're talking about how to sew this thing on. And this is the same process for what you would do if you're sewing on your beautiful name tape. So this is a Civil Air Patrol tape. You are required to get the dark blue one. The royal blue one is not authorized on the ABU uniform. If you do wear BDUs in the, the very little time that's left now as of recording this, then you can wear royal blue on those uniforms only. ABU says it is not authorized. You have to have this color of blue. And so please keep that in mind when you are pur purchasing name tapes and Civil Air Patrol tapes. Now this tape, as you can see here, there are different aspects to it, like on the back, it's got some white thread and it's got like a plasticky material underneath and it's got the white lettering on the front and then there are these weird edges. And the edges just are kind of like there. But what we do want to make sure is that you've got equal distance between the edge of the white lettering and the edge of the tape and the tape has to be centered on the pocket of your uniform. So grabbing a blouse right here, just as my quick example uniform, this uniform has been washed, but it does not have tapes on it yet. And it was found at an airman attic, so if you are close to a military base and they're trying to get rid of their ABU uniforms, like the Air Force isn't wearing these uniforms now at this point, and so if you're looking for them, they may be gone at this point or when you're watching this video way into the future. But at this time, like I got this there and it's going to be going onto this pocket. You want to make sure that it is centered and the width of the pocket. And so here are a few tips for you on how to make sure that this sits nicely on your uniform correctly and it is within regulations while maybe even learning a new skill and using a sewing machine. So if you've never sewn before, there's something that's very useful called pins. Now pins, they look like this. It will be hard to, well, maybe not with me wearing a dark shirt. Um, you can see it now, ta-da. So it's actually got a ton of white fuzz because of some hats I was making, Oof. Uh, But so it's got a tip, it's got a head here, and then it's got the nice body, which is metal. And so whenever you use pins, it's to help make sure that everything is correct in the way that it needs to be. And so I'm gonna take this off the hanger actually. It's double hanger because those hangers are weak. And we're gonna pull our uniform up. So it's, it's, it's supposed to be on this side of the uniform. And so I will be taking my name tape and I will be trying to center it on my uniform. And so I'm gonna look here. I'm gonna see where the center of the pocket is. So if you want to be super precise with it, where's my ruler? Where's my ruler? Where's my ruler? My ruler's not in this room. One second. Here's my ruler. So I'm actually going to start off with measuring the width of my pocket. And so I'm gonna take the ruler. I'm gonna do the centimeter side because the lines are closer to each other in terms of those me measurements. This is a very old ruler that I've had for many years and I have used it for inspections. So it's a very exciting ruler with lots of good memories. So if I look at the width of my pocket, it is 14 and a half centimeters in length. And so I'm going to mark the center of it with a pin. So I'm gonna grab my pin, I'm going to find seven and a quarter. And I'm gonna put that pin right there to mark where the center is. Okay, so just to show you, I've got the seven and a quarter measured out. It's hard to see my ruler because it's clear, but I promise you it is at that seven and a quarter measurement in the center. The reason why I'm doing that is because I want to find the center of this tape. I'm going to look at how the length of the lettering is, and I'm going to make sure that the distance between the two edges of the lettering is equivalent. And so looking at the tape here, 
the words themselves are about they, they are 12 centimeters exactly and I'm looking to see what 14 and a half looks like so 14 and a half sits about here and so the the tape is going to be approximately like this where I'm gonna have the folds right there and right there where it's going to be like that this since since I'm doing this up in the air it's a little hard to be precise but you're gonna have it folded down like this and you will press it down with an iron and when you press it down make sure you press it down so that it's it's perpendicular and you don't have any of the back showing on the front side because that that will not look good okay so it should look like that and I'm just going to use some pins to hold it here in this temporary position. Pins you can always take out, but once you sew, it, it can be hard to take it out. So I'm just going to try to poke through this. Eh. It's a little hard because it's thicker. I'm just going to leave that in that temporary spot. Be careful. <laughs> um, I would do it like the, the front to back of going like down, up, down again to try to do that with this. But right now, I just want to do it just a quick temporary hold. And then I'm going to grab another pin and just poke through there. Be careful not to poke yourselves, please. And so right now, I think this is supposed to be 14 and three, or not 14 and three, 14 and a half it's sitting at about 15 and a half right now so i need to redo it i'm going to look at the front sides to see what the distance is between the letters and the edges so on this side where the c is i've got two centimeters of space and on the l side i have about a centimeter and well 1.75 centimeters or so so that means i'm going to need to reduce a little bit of the blue on each side so I'm gonna do about that so I've reduced it to about there putting my pin back through eee. be careful not to poke yourself uh, so you can see very clearly that I've got more blue on this side than I do this side and I'm gonna do the same process on this side poke back through <laughs> be careful not to poke yourselves so right now it looks like this, and I'm just gonna measure out again. Once you measure your tapes on once, you don't have to do it again. So just make sure that you've got it right and take the time that you need to put them on correctly. Um, if you're going to a summer activity, um, you could always have tailors put it on. That costs money, and I think sewing is a good life skill in general to learn. So if you've never sewn before, the Civil Air Patrol tapes and name tapes are where it's at. You could always do it by hand too, but as I was saying, this is a thick material, and doing it by hand can be very challenging. It can hurt your thumbs, like like you can see I have little pin marks. There are like two little like circular things. That's for me just pushing this in, and that's why the thimble was created, because using the thimble, it spreads out that distribution of that force on your thumb from that pin being pushed in, so it's not just in one spot but it's in different spots on your hand. So checking the length here, I'm at about five, or excuse me, 15 centimeters. And looking on each side, it's 1.5 centimeters on one side, and it's a little less than that on the other. So I'm gonna pull this one out. I'm gonna put it a little bit closer. Not too much more, because it's, it's about a half of a centimeter left that I need to do in order to make sure that We've got equal length on both sides. And I will take out a little bit more on the side of the L. So I'm measuring the distance of the letters from the edge and measuring the length of the tape. And this, this is an iterative process, it takes time. Please be patient with yourself, it's okay if you're not getting it perfect in the first few tries, but as soon as you get it, you'll know. Okay, so I'm, I'm just keeping on going. I'm doing the C side a little bit more. Okay. 
So on my tape, it's about a centimeter on each side between the letters and the edge of the tapes. Um, I think pockets vary in size just a little bit between uniforms. But it's a centimeter on one side and a centimeter on the other side. So I'm just going to verify on my pocket too to make sure that the middle of the pocket lines up with the middle of the tape. And so I've got this like temporarily pinned, very lightly pinned. It's not even remotely pinned in. Um, but looking here, this is almost there. I'm going to do a few more tweaks on my own first, and then when I'm ready to go, my next step will be pressing down the name tape and seeing that it is the right length. Now, just as a reminder, you want the edge of this top of the pocket and this edge of the top of the pocket to line up with the edges of the tape. And it helps to iron it first. Um, well, not first, but iron it always before you put it onto your uniform so that it lays flat. Because right now, you can see that it makes kind of like a loopy shape. And when you're sewing, that loopy shape could create more space and it could adjust what your measurements have been and can throw a lot of things off. So just be careful of that. Iron it first, and then you could have those pins in. When Now I will show you the pinning process of pinning it onto the uniform to make sure it is in the correct spot. But yeah, so my measurements was a centimeter from the edge of the L, the edge of the bottom of the L, to the edge of this, and from the far edge of the C, to the edge of this. So yours might be the same way. If you wanna try doing one centimeter of space on each side, then please feel free to do that, but try to make sure that it is in accordance to what your pocket needs and what it looks like. Okay, welcome to the next section where we've got our iron. It is already hot and I have it on the synthetic section. It's a little hard to see here, but it says synthetics. And I've actually pinned my name tape, or well, this is the solar patrol tape, but if you're using your name tape, I have pinned it so that I will not hurt myself as much. And so I'm actually going to push this in just a little bit more so that these tails don't get hit by the iron. We don't want the iron to melt it. But these are the same measurements that I had done earlier. I'm just gonna push these in too. It's hard to do with one hand. Sewing is very difficult to do with one hand. There we go. So just be careful not to poke yourself with the pins. Um, I'm going to keep them on the bottom side as I am doing this. And I'm gonna hold it flat and I'm going to have the iron press down on that. And so I'm gonna switch hands here because I am a right-handed person. I'm gonna see if I can actually hold the camera properly with my left hand. And we're gonna do this. And so we're gonna hold it down Remember, I, I did an ironing video with uniforms before, and I was like, you know, never, ever, ever hold the iron in the same spot. And the reason why is because we don't want it to burn the material. And so I've got a little bit of a crease forming now, which is good. I want to make sure that it's hard pressed down. And so I'm going to do it a little bit more. And we're going to go back and forth here. Oops, it popped up. And I'm doing it on the back side now, just so that it, I can press it a little bit more. And we're almost there. So you can see that edge is being pressed nice and firm down. Go back and forth, push into the tape. Make sure that it's getting closer to being flat. We're almost there. So as you can see here, We've got it being pressed down. Okay, so you can see the difference between the side that has not been done yet and the side that has been done. Um, it really helps to have that flattened out. And I'm gonna get back to this side. I'm gonna do this side first, and then I'm gonna show you what the end result looks like. Whenever I am ironing, I like to use two hands so that I, I have one hand holding it and the other hand is pressing down with the iron. And you can see with my tape that it's still lined up. And remember when you're using an iron, make sure you sit it flat. So right now, my tape is almost ready to go. So 
So I'm actually going to take my pins out because I've made pretty decent creases. I'm just going to take these out so that I can actually have it lay flat. So I'm going to take these out and I'm going to lay it flat. You can still see that there's the bend there. And I'm just going to press it down just a little bit more. And with this, I'm constantly checking to make sure that it's still lined up and that it is not askewed. So now that I've taken the pins out on the other side, I'm also going to do some pressing on this side, making sure that it's constantly lined up as I'm pressing down. As you can see, the one side is better pressed down than this side is, so I'm, I, I need to give this side a little bit more time and attention. So I'm going to say that these edges are pretty good. Um, they, they don't need to be perfectly all the way down. They don't need to be super flat. But they do need to be flat enough that like it will pretty much stay when I lay it down flat on the uniform. So the next step that we're going to do is pinning. So we've got our pretty flattened name tape here. we got the, the ends flattened down. And we need to put pins into our name tape and make sure that it lays flat on our uniform. We're gonna check it against the pocket to make sure that it's all right. We've got that pin in the middle. And right now looking at my tape, it looks like my tape is a little long. And so what I will have to do is I will go revisit the iron and make sure that it's pressed down again and try to make sure that the edges are lined up with the pockets. Okay, so now my Civil Air Patrol tape is the correct length against my pocket. It is the perfect length. See? Well, I, I might have it a little askew because I can't see, but that is how we measure the length of our tape, and we get it to the right length, and we check it against our pocket. So now that I have this, I'm going to do one pin in the middle of this just to make sure that it actually holds in place at the distance that I have ironed it to because I'm, I'm <laughs> I, I fear that it might try to move. So I have my pin there through the center. The, these are very small holes and you won't really be able to tell, but that that's going to hold it nice and snug in place. It's not going to move from there. I'm going to do the same thing with this edge of the tape as well. Make sure it's lined up the way that I want it to. That's the correct length. We're going to poke through. And then we're going to go underneath and poke through again. Make sure you don't poke yourself, please. <laughs> and there we go. So now I've got these on both sides. You don't need these per se, but if you've never sewn before or you want to just really make sure that these hold at the right uh, lengths of the blue on both sides, then that's something that you can do. So now it's time to pin it to our uniform. Typically when I'm sewing, I like to do things along the edge, but because of how thick this is, I may not be able to do that. So I'm going to do my best. So kind of like right next to those pins that I had from the tape before, I'm going to go down into the tape and then go back through again, but with the blouse. And you're going to make sure it's lined up as I do that. So here I have it going through. And you can see that it goes through on the back side too because there's the pin right there. And so there's one side lined up. And then I'm going to do the other side now. 
And one, one good best practice for when you're sewing is to have pins throughout the sewing job that you're doing. And you wanna make sure that your tape is not overlapping with the pocket because you don't want to sew the pocket shut. And so I'm gonna do a quick pin here in the middle as it's laying flat. And then I'm doing my final pin right now through the blouse, through the name tape, and back up again. Be careful not to pin yourself, please. Okay, so I just took out that last one because I, I think it's pressed down very nicely. Um, this, it, it's, it's sort of a temporary hold right now because when I go to use my sewing machine, the sewing machine will hold it flat down and I'll be able to pull out the pins as I move around on the machine. And so I'm gonna zoom over to my sewing machine. Okay, we're back over here with the sewing machine and I am going to show you my process for doing this. So right now we've got the edges of our name tag lined up with the edge of the pocket. And we wanna make sure that it's about a quarter of an inch and well, you want it to be between the edge of the letters and the edge of the tape. So I'm gonna line up my needle and I'm gonna put the foot down. I put the foot down, I made sure it's all tight, ready to go. And so I'm gonna do that forward, backward, forward technique to sorta of make sure that it is nice and tight down. So I'm just doing this nice and slowly, going forward and backward. And then I'm gonna do it nice and slow. And now I'm going to just quickly check to make sure that I've got my thread in the back is going, which I believe it is, and it, it seems good, nice and tight, and I accidentally shifted my fabric while I did that. Um, so I'm just going to keep going between here and the pocket, making sure that the fabric is right up against the edge of the pocket. And as you need to, you can pull out your pins. Um, this pin was kind of getting in the way for me. So I'm just going forward from here and I'm about to hit a corner. So I'm gonna try to make sure that the distance I was from the edge of the, well, be between these two things, I'm gonna try to make sure that it's the same distance um, between where my thread will be on this side of the nice tape here. So I'm going to do a quick tip here. I'm going to have my needle down. So I'm going to use my little thing over here. <laughs> it, it's my, my nice hand stitching tool, which, which is what I was lifting up and down earlier. Just as a reminder, it looks like it's this thing. Um, and so now that my needle is down, I can actually lift the foot and rotate the fabric as I need to. There's my little rogue pin, so I'm gonna put it down and I'm gonna rotate this 90 degrees. Okay, and I just poke myself. Make sure you don't poke yourself, be safe. Practice good sewing. It looks like I might need to go a little bit further on this end, so I'm gonna go back to this direction, put the foot back down, go a few more steps forward. And I might just stop it there 
Let me actually check here. I think that's a, a good distance. Um, it, it's hard for you to see, but you need to evaluate based off of what you see on your tape. Okay, so now I'm just going to continue forward. So now that I'm getting close to this edge here, I'm just going to try to doing the turn again. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so that, that looks like a good distance to me. And I'm going to put that back down again. And now we really need to make sure that we're lined up with that edge the whole time. I'm going to take out this middle pin now really quickly. Um, and we're going to go ahead and go forward. And as, as we're feeding the fabric through, just make sure that you're not pushing the fabric, but you're just guiding it. And as I'm getting close to this edge here, I'm just going to pull out these pins really quickly because I know they're going to get in the way. And I'm going to make sure any extra thread from earlier is out of the way. So I'm going to take one quick step back. Well, actually, I, I didn't do that step quite yet. And so I'm going to go down and I'm going to rotate. And this, the reason why I have this side be my last one is because there's just so much extra fabric here that it can kind of get in the way. Um, and so it's not good to start on that. And so I started with the longer side just so that it would be a little bit easier, making sure this is all lined up again. Now I'm going to go forward. And then as soon as I hit that corner again, I'm going to go backwards and forwards again and then have my needle up so that I can pull this out. I'm going to lift my foot up and we're going to pull it out. I need to grab a pair of scissors. So with scissors in hand, we can disconnect this on the front and on the back sides. You can't really see it from this perspective. So I'm going to take this out of here. We're going to take a quick look. Let's see how it turned out, guys. So that's what it looks like. How about that? Not too bad, guys. So we have our edges are lined up with the edges of the pocket. And I do need to trim off these strings right here. Um, they're called Irish pennants. And you don't want to have any strings laying around on your uniform. So just make sure you cut those off. Um, to me, th this looks really good. It, it's a solid sewing job. Um, I probably could have sewn this edge just a little bit closer because you can see it's sort of coming off here. So I might go and uh, actually like do some stitches on the back by hand to try to keep it close. Um, because you can see here that I didn't quite get the edge <laughs> as close as I probably could have. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do that on my own. That, that was just a quick video summary of how to get your name tape on with the sewing machine. So if you guys like this video, please let me know. And that is all, folks. Until next time. Doodles.